There are many surprising ways to hide money in your home. In this video I show you 13 ways that hardly anyone knows about. This way you can make sure that burglars don't find your money. You can also burn valuables that are too badly hidden. For many of the tricks shown here you should pack your money or valuables in such a zip bag beforehand. You will find out why this is especially important for many of the hiding places in the course of the video. Do you have nut nougat cream at home? Then you can use them perfectly to hide money in. When you open the lid there is a cardboard like this inside. You can easily get it out with a knife. You can put some money inside and push the cardboard lid back in. Nobody can see that the money is inside. You can screw it back on and put it in a storage cupboard. That way your money is definitely safe and when you need it again you just open the lid and take it out. For the next stash you'll need a hole punch. However you shouldn't hole punch your money because we want to hide it and not destroy it. To do this grab some money, fold it up a bit and now open the hole punch. Put the money in here and close the whole thing again. This way you have your money safely stored and you can even use the hole punch normally. This brings us to our third hiding place. For this you need a candle. Preferably one that has already burnt down a little. You'll see why in a moment. Now take off the glue at the bottom and drill a hole in it. Use a nice big drill for this. Make sure you don't drill all the way to the top. Now you can take a banknote or several banknotes and roll them up tightly. Then you can put them perfectly into the hole you have just drilled. Of course it should be deep enough for the banknote to disappear completely. Now put the glue back on the bottom and put the candle back with your decoration. No one will think that a banknote is hidden in this candle. However you should not light it now so that the money does not burn. A pack of sanitary napkins is also perfect for hiding some money from burglars. Take out a sanitary napkin and open it carefully. You don't want to destroy the pack here. That should be enough. Now take your money and put it in here. After you have folded it a few times close the package and put it back in the big package. Nobody will think that there is money inside. For the next trick you need a few notes that you want to hide and a magnet. That's it. Because with this magnet you can now clamp your money to your heater. Of course this is relatively stupid because everyone can see it directly. But it's a really good idea to just stick the money behind the heating. Because burglars usually have very little time and won't get the idea to look behind here. For the next hiding place you first need an empty toilet roll. You can put some money in here now. There is definitely room for it. Now close the top and bottom of the toilet roll with a piece of tape. Now grab a jar where the toilet roll fits in. Put a little rice or noodles in it as the first layer. Now put the toilet roll in here and add more rice or noodles. The toilet roll should be aligned in the middle. When the jar is completely filled you won't see anything of the toilet roll with the money inside. So it's safe hidden and you can put it in your storage cupboard. For the next hiding place we need a tin. You can also use any other container as long as it is waterproof. If you have larger plants in your home take them out of the container. Put this tin in the bottom and then put the plant back on top. This way your money is safely hidden and by packing it waterproof you can avoid the risk of it getting wet when you water the plants. Do you have such a room scent somewhere in your home? You can hide some money in this one too. Open it at the top and put your money around the tin. You can then put the tin back into the appliance and screw the lid back on. Now put it where it usually stands. No one will get the idea that there is money in it. For our next hiding place you should have put your money in a zip bag like this one I showed you at the beginning. Now take some tape and put it around the outside. This way you can stick it in a drawer but under a drawer, preferably far down in the kitchen. That way no one will think that there is still money under the drawer because no one will bend down to look here. What looks like a conventional tin can is one of the best money hiding places there is. This is because it is a so called can safe. It is specially prepared so that you can hide your money or other valuables in it. Take off the lid, put everything you want to hide in here and close it again. You can hardly distinguish these tins from normal tins. That is, put them in your storage cupboard now. Especially if you have a lot of tins, this one won't be noticed at all and no one will get the idea to look for money here. For the next hiding place you need another tin or jar where you can put your money in. I have used such a spiced jar here. Now put the money in it and close it again. Now go to the toilet because here you can take off this push plate. Push it upwards and then take it off carefully at the top. If you have a cistern there is usually a relatively large cavity where you can hide a jar like this with money or other valuables. Now put the handle plate back on as you took it off before. You can even use it normally. No one will know that there is money hidden behind it. And there are other ways to hide money near your toilet. Take a toilet roll, roll it up a bit 
And now as you can see here, distribute banknotes inside the toilet roll. Now you have to roll it up again carefully. Afterwards, however, you should not hang it next to the toilet because someone might use the toilet paper and find the money. But put it back into the package. Of course, it's best to use a completely new roll of toilet paper so that it doesn't stand out among the others. And of course, this also works if you use moist toilet paper. For this, however, you should seal your money in a zip bag again. You can now press the bag into the packaging and then close the lid again. This way you can also just put it in your pantry with the other toilet paper or near your toilet. These are all places where burglars don't look directly. That way you can be sure that your money won't be stolen. By the way, the money I used was play money, so I didn't destroy real money. Would you like to know why you should never get out of your car if you have money stuck behind your windscreen wiper? Then make sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here.